Jared's and Jerry. Hi, there's Jerry. There's a small percentage of people showing off the new that Samsung Ethernet this jack. Yahoo right on TV. Samsung. Yeah, very mostly small. rich people with new houses. Yeah. I mean, you know, right. or people keep like Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is, well, Wi -Fi is, well, I have one too. But yeah. I mean, well, well, what's happening is that most of these like really small jobs. So I know. Right. Like, yeah, I know they have a dongle and you can plug in the USB. We're, we're, we're working with a retailer, so they sort of right. get it's, it's a small point. Ooh, there's Joe too. So, so I'm customized. So here with Jerry and Sue, how you doing? This is a really cool new product you're introducing. It's this Samsung uh, integrated with Yahoo. Now, why are you doing this? What's the what's the idea behind it? Well, the television is finally to have internet built in, meaning that it's either wireless or plugged in uh, internet connection. And right. what we built is through the Yahoo Widget Engine, a platform where you can get the internet right on your TV. So right, without a device, it's just without there. Without a device, it's all on your remote, mm -hmm. and you can pop it up, you know, part of the screen as a sort of a trailer underneath or full screen. Right. It's down here. It's down. It's all these widgets, and it comes down. Right. And what? here, here, you know, it's not just Yahoo stuff, but it's all those third parties. Like here, we have right. USA Today. And, and why do this? So, what, what's the idea of getting Yahoo in a platform that still hasn't been successful for anybody? Like, you have to plug in the TiVo. You have to plug in all these things. You know, ultimately, it's trying to have the ultimate last mile relationship with the consumer. Right. There's never been an integrated solution. There's been debates about whether the TV is going to become a PC before the PC becomes a TV. Mm -hmm. It's finally here, integrated in one device, easy to use, and shipping to millions of people starting in the, in the spring. In the spring. And why has it been so hard? Why, is the, why has it been so difficult to integrate it? Of, There's been a lot of questions about what the UI should be, what the use cases would be, right. uh, the underlying platforms that could attract developers on mm -hmm. the scale of millions haven't been here. Right. So now you have the ability, Moore's Law as well, right. you've got, absolutely got the ability to do this within the TV now, which you never had before. So right. I mean, look at right. fast and sleek. We're talking about TVs that are you know less than a third of an inch thick. Right, right, that right. has the internet built in. Right, exactly. And it has high resolution, that has high bandwidth. And all these things took a lot of years to come together. And you want it, and actually people are used to widgets now with the iPhone. They're very right. comfortable in the widget yes. environment. Yes. And what do you want to get on other, you're not just going to be on Samsung, correct? Yeah, I mean, Samsung is obviously one of our larger partners. We're on LG, we're on Sony, we're on right. Vizio. Right, and uh, the, with so, Intel. With yeah, Intel. And the idea is to create a widget gallery very similar to what's on the iPhone, is that correct? Well, we, we have an open development platform. So right. anybody who's developing for this application, uh, from this platform can put their applications on our gallery. And the users can go along and figure out what's So it's account. not Yahoo only, kind of? Not, a, not Yahoo only. Excellent. But Yahoo, it, the, the goal is Yahoo becomes the standard. So we're right. focusing on the platform first, the business development relationship second, and then we'll tap the ingenuity of the community if it becomes a standard. We think we're in a position to do that. Excellent. Thank you, Jerry and Sue. So, Very thanks, nice. Sarah. Good luck. So, Marco, you've just been showing me all these TVs with Yahoo, uh, what's it, Connected TV, it's correct? Uh, connected TV now, this, widgets. This has been a holy grail for a lot of people for a long time. What's been the problem? I really like your, this is a beautiful version of it because it's intuitive with the television versus a, a device that you have to hook up and screw up, really, pretty much. What's been the problem uh, that you were facing when you were looking at doing this? I, I think historically there have been three, three big big challenges that I think we've solved now for the first time. Number one is finding the right use cases for the TV. Right. Initially, like 10, 15 years ago, people were just saying, let's slap a browser on a set-top box and then people pe browse the PC on the TV. Right. That's not interesting because they just have their laptop on their couch and that's it. Mm -hmm. So what we focused on is what are the three use cases? And the three use cases we identified are how can we augment and supplement and make the existing TV experience, the existing TV content better mm -hmm. through augmenting the internet. The second thing is while watching TV, how can you stay connected without having to look on your cell phone all the time? Mm -hmm. And thirdly, how can we use the internet to add more channels, so to speak, like, you know, now you're watching a YouTube channel, or now you're right. watching a Netflix channel. Mm -hmm. So all of these things we, we felt were the right use cases, and then we put them in a user interface. Right. paradigm that made sense for the remote and the TV. Mm -hmm. So that was the first thing. The second challenge is, you know, is how can you now develop, whether it's Yahoo or any other developer or publisher, how can you develop these, these services easily and run them across a multiple right. sets of TVs. So our widget engine is giving you I'm the user experience. the software point of view, exactly. software we, we, into, the, into the TV. Software into the TV. And that also allows us to solve the third problem because the third problem was distribution. Right. You know, when you when you do something on the internet today, in the beginning you reach millions and tens of millions and hundreds of millions, eventually mm -hmm. billions. On the TV side, you had to do a deal with every setup manufacturer who had to all, you know, who had with every cable manu guy or satellite guy had all of the special thingies. And now what we've done here is by partnering with pretty much 70% of the TV manufacturing market share in the U.S. Mm -hmm. with Samsung, Sony, LG, and Vizio, that will all distribute the Yahoo TV widget engine. 
you now get access to millions of users unencumbered as a publisher. Right. And this is really, so we give you the audience, we give you the tooling, and we give a great now, user experience. Now a lot of it's going to be the rise and fall on the widget gallery, keeping, the idea of widgets suddenly has become easy for people to understand. And I think the iPhone has helped you there, is that you look at it and instantly we knew, oh, it's a widget, I see, yeah. that kind of thing. So it's sort of, it, what's great about the widget, you, you, you launch a discrete browser essentially every time without having to launch a browser and type crap in. Exactly. So, and in TV it's even harder because you don't want a keyboard, you want to do a lot of things. It's got to survive outside the Yahoo widget universe, correct? It's not just Yahoo you Abso widget. Absolutely. This is not about, we are providing the, the base engine, you know, like, like something like a browser mm -hmm. that runs these widgets, mm -hmm. but then, you know, the user can decide to not even use one Yahoo widget. Right. Use like a YouTube widget, a Facebook widget. We do believe that we have great services that a lot of people want to use, mm -hmm. but it's not only about Yahoo, it's about the whole internet. Right. And we're just the enabler right now. And that helps us distribute our consumer services and also mm -hmm. creates a monetization opportunity for us that mm -hmm. when publishers write these widgets, we also optionally going to offer them use our monetization. Right, advertising or advertising, whatever, or, exactly. or premium or, or premium a piece services. of, piece exactly. of buying something, exactly. a piece of renting a Netflix movie, exactly. that kind of thing. Now in terms of, 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 of getting people using it, how it's not a very difficult thing to use, it, I just did it and learned it in two seconds, but what is the, is, you got to get people to buy these TV sets, correct? That's yeah, and the interesting thing is, is these are not like special TV sets. Right. Samsung is putting them in the majority of the TV set they're going to sell in the U.S. this year. Mm -hmm. And not only in the U.S., but you know, in Europe and all of North America. Right. Same as LG, same as Sony. So it's not that you have to buy something extra, you pay a higher price. why do price. they want to do it? What is their... Because they feel that they don't want to just be a you know, they don't want it to be just a dumb display right. and being controlled by somebody else. They feel that this is the interaction method that right. you want to have. And so they, you know, for them it's a great way to basically use the distribution power that they have mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and have and have presence and have an interaction with the, with the consumer and not being, you know, daisy chained behind the setup box. Absolutely. Now, last question. This is Yahoo not on the computer. You just were saying that. You don't care about the computer, do you? I personally focus on everything but the PC. That right. means I do all of the mobile stuff where we're extremely successful right. and all the TV stuff. So that, right. that, that excites me because I do believe eventually there's going to, the market off PC is going to be much, much bigger than on PC. Right. Absolutely. No question. Thanks a lot, Mark. Thank you, Kara.